Hey guys, it's Kate. I am going to show you an updated look at our Pop Funko collection, and I have them displayed in the bookcase down in the living room. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this top shelf. I have all of my Fantastic Beasts, including my Akami. I did purchase her, or him, I'm calling her her, <laughs> um, at the Tampa Bay Comic Con for $70, Ooh. Um, but I really, really wanted it, and the detail is just stunning, so there's that first, and then I have Newt Scamander with his egg and wand, Tina, Queenie, Jacob, Percival, the Dummy Guys, and the Niffler, and then moving on to my Harry Potter collection, so quite a bit smaller. I have Snape, Ron Weasley, Harry on his broomstick was also purchased at the Tampa Bay Comic Con for $30, and Hagrid, who is jumbo and so cool. Going down to the next shelf, this is Abel's, um, I'm calling it kind of like the DC Marvel superhero area. We have Batman and Joker in surf attire with their little surfboards and swimming trunks, so super cute. Then we have a classic Batman, a Dark Knight Batman, another Joker from I believe the animated series, and then we have a couple from the Suicide Squad. So we have Rick Flagg, Captain Boomerang, and Killer Croc. Then we have two from Wonder Woman, her in her first outfit and then her in her actual uniform. Then moving on to Iron Man, or Tony Stark, we have this one here, but we also have the exclusive summer convention one. Abel was able, ha, Abel was able <laughs> to get him for, you said 16, the yes. Tony Stark? Uh, so we paid normal price. We didn't have to, you know, pay the inflated price at the Comic-Con. Then I got the Flash, Reverse Flash, and Captain Cold all at the Tampa Bay Comic Con. So super excited to start my Flash collection since he is my favorite superhero. Moving down to my Disney shelf back here. Sorry that the ones in the back are a little more dark. I have my Jumbo Elliot, Maui, and Young Moana. Then I have Arlo and Spot from The Good Dinosaur, as well as Carl and Russell from Up. Then on the front I have Remy, and then the entire Zootopia collection, so Nick Wilde, Judy Hopps, Finnick, Mr. Big, Flash, and then I have Ariel and Sebastian going down here. I need to get uh, two more sets of the shelving, but I don't have that as of yet. So I just have our Dr. Seuss collection, which includes the Horton Jumbo in the back, the Flocked Lorax we were able to get at Tampa Bay Comic Con for $30, and then Sam I Am with his green eggs and ham. And then this is my Beauty and the Beast collection. I have the Beast, Belle in her yellow gown with a rose, and Belle in her yellow gown with Lumiere, and then I have her in her village outfit, I believe. I think that's what that is. I could be totally wrong. And then her when she is trying to create, um, or the wardrobe is dressing her, and all the clothes kind of explode on her. So that's what her dress ends up looking like. And then at the very, very bottom, we've kind of got the miscellaneous here. We have a black and white Woody from Box Lunch. This is the ancient one. She is a bobblehead. As well as the Star Wars, he is a bobblehead. Ava, what's the name of the Star Wars character? Do you know? I don't know. It's not a stormtrooper, though. Yeah, he just is some kind of cool oh, black stormtrooper. And then, what's the name of your Yu-Gi-Oh character? Oh, that was Dragon Ball Z. That's Vegeta. Okay, sorry. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, but they, they should have uh, Lugia Pops, I think. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, and then he has his Assassin's Creed, whose names are... Uh, 
3B. And Mr. Fra every Evie and then Jacob. Okay. And then look at Manolo. He's from the Book of Life. We did get him at Tampa Bay Comic Con as well. We paid 20 for him. Yes. Um, and the gentleman that had him also had La Muerte, but she was like $110. So uh, we skipped her. But that is our collection. I'm going to back up so you can see how we have it displayed. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to tilt the camera there. Let me... All right, so that is how our pops look. I'm really, really happy with it. I was able to, um, if you guys have seen my scrapbook corner uh, kind of overview, um, you'll know that I had this entire middle bookshelf filled with my scrapbooking stuff, but I was able to push everything to the two and get all of our pops on there until we get the shelving up in Abel's game room. I They were being stored in a bag and I just didn't like that. We, you know, we invest quite a bit of money in our collection and I wanted it on display. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you later. Bye!